Hi, my name is Alex with Ape Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be using ChatGPT to help Scrum teams all around the world with one very, very big problem, and that is for helping us break down big stories that are just way too complex, too scary, too ambiguous, and just quite frankly, cause delays and cause our stories to roll from sprint to sprint. So we're going to be using ChatGPT to help us give us some tips, some pointers, some tricks on how to overcome this challenge. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. So we've all been in this situation. We come into our sprint planning and we have the right amount of stories everybody's estimating and it is looking just beautiful it's going to be a perfect sprint about five six seven days into your 10-day sprint you start noticing that things aren't moving as quickly as you thought and those stories that were given like a three or a five or even eight are just lingering they're not really moving your teams aren't really taking too many actions and there's a lot of questions that are arising at this point and it turns out that the user story just was way too big or way too ambiguous or just didn't have all the requirements the way it should have. And the inevitable tends to happen, which is that user story is just going to go and roll over to the next sprint. And if you're lucky, that story gets completed in the next sprint. But if you're not lucky and if you've been in like the situations that I've been in the past, that user story is going to roll from sprint to sprint to sprint and it's going to linger for a few different sprints. And this is not good at all. Our user stories should follow the invest principle. And they should be so small. They should be very, very small stories. But just teams around the world, they just sometimes don't appreciate the value of simplicity. They don't appreciate the value of making really small stories. And they end up with these user stories that are just too big, quite frankly. And your teams, they don't challenge you back. They don't challenge the story to the product owner. And these stories tend to just, again, they tend to just live for a little bit longer than anticipated. And the team just kind of gets lost in the, in the heat of it all. So I was thinking to myself, well, all you got to do is break the story down. But like all good things in life, that's usually easier said than done. Up until when I discovered that we have artificial intelligence now, folks, and we should be able to break things down much easier and with a lot more accuracy than in the past. Because breaking down a user story does require a lot of input. It requires a lot of insight. But when we can leverage the power of artificial intelligence and chat GPT to help kind of keep us grounded, then I really do think we'll start to see some cool and amazing things. So we're going to switch over to ChatGPT and I'm just going to ask it to give me a user story for a new functionality that I'm building. So over here in ChatGPT, I'm going to simply tell it, write me a user story for a user interface that displays menu items for a local restaurant. Super, super simple. If you've followed any of my trainings or if you've done anything that, or if you've seen any of my Scrum videos, then you know that I like to build this mobile app where we build from a local restaurant. Now, as you can see here, here is a great example of a user story with a ton of detail. There's going to be the story itself. As a customer, I want to easily view the menu items of a local restaurant so that I can choose and order my desired meal effortlessly. Again, nothing wrong with this user story. This is a great user story. It even goes and gives us great acceptance criteria. So the user interface should be vis visually appealing and whatnot. And then we get into the details of the user story itself. And as you can see, as a hungry customer, I visit the website or mobile application for, of a local restaurant upon landing page. I notice a prominent navigation link to menu. Intrigued, I click on the link. The user interface swiftly transitions to the menu page, presenting me with the appealing layout. The menu items are neatly categorized with sections like appetizers, entrees, desserts, and so on. So as you can see, this is a really very, very detailed. It is really long here. It goes quite a bit, right? This is exactly the point that I'm trying to make, right? We have so much detail and we think that, hey, we're just adding a couple of pictures to a menu. This should be easy, right? 
But your team struggles with it. They just roll it over and over and over because there's just so many details, right? You're taking care of displaying all the categories. You're taking care of bringing in images. You're taking care of fonts and copy. And there's just a lot happening in this user story, which really does feel like an epic. It does feel a little bit too big. And one thing for you to consider is when you are looking at your user stories, they should, right? Big giant asterisks. They should be something your team can complete within the sprint. So they should be small enough. And I am a big, huge proponent of the smaller, the better, right? And so what we're going to do here with ChatGPT, I'm going to go perfect. Please break this user story down into smaller stories. And I'm going to hit enter. And this is really, really key because now instead of having this giant user story that may or may not be completed within a sprint, now ChatGPT is giving me five, six, seven. It's giving me a handful of different user stories that can now be smaller. So we're going to go and audit. So it's giving me nine user stories. So instead of having one giant one, we are not going to have nine. And so user story number one is as a customer, I want to easily access the menu page of a local restaurant so that I can view the available menu options. And what you see here is we lose a lot of the data. We lose a lot of the explicitness of it, right? So, but this is okay because I am a big believer that your technical team should be the one that architect the solution. They just need to know what needs to be built. And ChatGPT is now doing a good job of giving us a bunch of little what's, nine to be specific, nine little what's that need to be built. And now my team should be able to take this. Uh, I want the menu items to be categorized and clearly displayed so that I can easily browse through them, right? And so now your technical team can go and figure out how we're gonna do that. But this is now just one story. So rather than depending on this giant story and again, breaking it up and, and just having your teams go crazy with like being creative, they cannot be creative on a smaller scale. And the probability that this story is going to be completed within a sprint goes up significantly because it is just so much smaller. It's more independent. It's more valuable. It's more estimatable because now instead of just trying to estimate the whole thing with a lot of moving parts and potentially passing of the baton, you're now just building small things. For example, we just need to add like the categories. And so creating the categories is going to be a lot easier as opposed to, again, trying to solve an end world hunger. And I always like to tell people, boil the ocean. So as you can see, we can definitely use ChatGPT here to help us break it down. And so we can even go, great, please give me more user stories on this topic. And then we can check and see if it gives us any more. And so you can see it keeps on going. It is context aware of what it already gave me and it can give us a couple of more. Now, I would recommend that rather than you just randomly putting something in like this, you take your actual user story that you're working on and give it to ChatGPT and go, hey, help me break it down, right? But because of AI and where we are today, you're gonna wanna take the feedback that it's given you back, like a grain of salt, and you are gonna wanna run that by your technical team and go, hey, is this ChatGPT even accurate or or is it just kind of pulling things out of the thin air, right? Because just because we're able to break it down, we're still going to want to put a human in the loop and we're going to want to validate each one of these stories. Because like, for example, if I grab this as a customer, I want to be able to share or recommend many items through social media or other communication channels, right? Maybe your team wasn't thinking of doing this. So this would not be a good user story for you to have. Or on the flip side, maybe your team wasn't even considering this. And now we have a win because now... Now we have some new scopes, some new cool features that we weren't even considering that ChatGPT might help us with. So I want you to essentially, basically the, the key takeaway is when you come in and use ChatGPT to help you break down these user stories, don't just take them as face value and pop them into Jira. You wanna have an intelligent discussion with your product owner, with your technical leads, and make sure that these stories still make sense, that they're still valuable, that there's still something that the team wants to do, and discard anything that doesn't meet your qualifications. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, a little bit different than other videos, but this is a pretty big problem that I just see so many teams struggling with, right? Because they just have these massive stories and they just, they just run with it. And honestly, if you were to just take a little time out and break it down, but breaking it down is always so much harder. It's it's challenging, right? It's just not, we all don't have that creative ability to 
think a little bit outside the box. And fortunately today in 2023, we have these cool tools that can help us think creatively and think outside the box a little bit better, or at least guide us towards a in the right direction so that we can then take over and kind of go get creative there. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And I wanna remind you that this video is part of the Summer of It Lasting 2.0. So we are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So if you've made it this far and you haven't smashed the subscribe button, go smash the subscribe button right now. And then finally, Rodney and I, the Jira guy, and I have launched the Jira Life. So it's a brand new podcast where we're building an entirely new community in all things at last. And so if you wanna be part of this very, very new and very, very important community and you wanna be one of the founding people, one of the first thousand people, go check out the link in the description below where you're gonna be able to subscribe and join us on this amazing journey that Ronnie and I have embarked on. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a